All right, welcome back, uh, Hananiga Algebra 1. We're going to move on to section 11.3, um, shapes of distribution. Um, so a lot of times we're going to talk basically about uh, histograms today. So the frequency table shows the number of rapidly sold by students in your grade. Display the data in a histogram and describe the shape of the distribution. Now they've already broken this down. 1 to 8, 9 to 16, 17 to 24, 25 to 32, and so on. And so basically, you need to draw in a histogram. And I know um, some of your teachers are going to differ in this situation, but um, I usually use tick marks and just put the actual number of the range. And I know some teachers are going to be different here. So this one... We're just going to have to go with it. So we're talking about 1 to 8, 9 to 16, 17 to 24, 25 to 32, 33 to 40, 41 to 48, and I didn't draw this quite large enough, and 49 to 56. And so now you're going to have to come up with, and so these are the number of tickets sold, and now you're talking about the frequency that fits in each one of those ranges. So I'm going to go by five. So we're talking about five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And so then here's how I do it. And again, I'm going to be a little bit different than some of the other teachers. So again, they might not be as happy. But so the first one is five. Next one is nine. Sixteen. Twenty five. Twenty. Eight and seven. Now, I usually like to fill it in just to give it a little color. And there it is. So that's how I do my histograms. And I know a few of the teachers are a little bit different than me. Uh, they don't actually do it this way. Um, so we'll see if they want to do their own video or not. Next one. We actually already talked about this, so I want to go through it again. If the data is more pushed to the right, you actually consider it skewed to the left. You're actually looking for the tail. Similar to the box and whisker plot, you're looking for the longer whisker. Here you're looking for where the data has been skewed. And so if the data makes a nice pretty goes up, goes down, okay, it's basically the same on either side. You would consider it symmetrical. And the next one, the data is pushed to the left, so it is considered skewed to the right or the tail is to the right hand side so most of the data is on the left and this data would be considered skewed to the right so now the frequency table shows the number of pounds of aluminum collected by the class of fundraiser display the data as a histogram and then describe the shape so i'm going to make a giant l here and it's once again it's already giving me three. so the first range is one to ten next one's eleven to twenty 21 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, and 51 to 60. And this data goes all the way up to 34. So I'm really going to need to make sure I go by an increment that can get all of those. So I'm going to go by, I'm still going to go by fives. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Five here. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. So that should get all the data. And so now, number of pounds from 1 to 10, there were seven of those. So I'm going to go up to seven and come across here. And remember, histograms are connected. So the next one, there's eight. So it's slightly higher than the last one. And the next one goes up to 10. So it's again, slightly higher than the last one. 16 all the way up to 34 and then 15. so i'm looking at this data and saying my goodness they were kind of low here on the left hand side and then all of a sudden you get about a little over halfway and you're getting way up there so again looking at this data set i would consider this skewed to the left again because the data is much lower over here and much higher on that end so it's skewed to the left hand side choosing the appropriate measure i always tell everybody if 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 there's nothing that's being skewed you should always use the mean or the average however if the data set is skewed then you should use either the median or 
the five number summary, okay, to describe your variation. The police officer measures the speeds in miles per hour, 30 motorists. The results are shown in the table. Display the data in a histogram using six intervals beginning from 31 to 35. So now I have to basically come up with the rest of the intervals. So then each time it should have a difference of four. So the next interval is 36 to 40. Notice it still has a difference of four. 41 to 45. 46 to 50. 51 to 55. And 56 to 60. So now I've broken this up into six intervals. Now, and here's where you're going to have to basically, you're going to have to go through each number here and place it in one of the intervals. For instance, 32 goes in the first interval. 53. And all you're doing is tallying each one. So 32, 53, 56, 50. And this is going to take you some time, especially with the large data set that I have here. So 51, 54, 52, 55, and then 45. So again, you're basically tallying up how many fall in each one of these intervals. So 44, 38, 41, 50, 45, 53, 60, 50, 40, and 58. Now for our last one here. 39, last column I mean. 48, 42, 55, 49, 52, 55, 52, again, 60, and 47. So there was one in the first interval, 3, 5, 6, 11, and four. So when I go to make my histogram, and I'm going to use the next page so I, I don't have a lot of room, those are the numbers that I'm going to use. So again, I'm going to kind of toggle back and forth here as I draw in my histogram. So make a histogram. First interval was 31 to 35. So again, you're going to have to read, toggle back and forth if you need to. And then I can, the highest number I have is 11. So I'm just going to go by two. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So now, again, going back and forth, the first one is a one. So I'm going to go up to one. Second one is a three. Next one is a five. So it's going to go up to five. Next one's going to go up to six, so a little bit higher. Now we got the big one. We have an 11 and a four. So 11 and a four. So again, filling that in just to try to give it some more color. And anyone who described it, whether it's skewed left, skewed right, or symmetric. Now, most of this data, you notice the highest place for this data is on the right-hand side. So this is considered skewed left. Record the number of emailed attachments by 30 employees. Results are shown in the table. Display your histogram using six intervals. The first interval is 1 to 20. So 1 to 20. So now remember, you're always going to have a 19. So the next one's 21 to 40. 41 to 60. 61 to 80. 81 to 100 and 101 to 120. Now I have to go through all the data and basically tally which one falls in which. All right, so now 74, 85, 65, 64, 72, and 42. So I did all the ones in the first column. I know I didn't cross those off as I went that time. 105, 75, 55, 52, 5, 25, 
98, 60, 58, 65, 45, 95. But next column, 68, 48, 45, 30, 77, and 16. Last column now, 64, 51, 38, 70, 83, and 120. So again, tallying up each one of these, there's two in the first interval, three in the second, nine in the third, 10, four, and two. Next, I want to draw a histogram. So again, I'm going to toggle back and forth so I get myself more space here. So I'm going to make a giant histogram. First interval is 1 to 20, 21 to 40, 41 to 60, 61 to 80, 81 to 100, and 101 to 120. Now, um, I'm going to go by twos again. And then I'm going to toggle back and forth. So the first one's two, second one's three. So two, three. Going back. Nine and then ten. So nine, ten. So slightly higher there. And then four and two. So four is right about there. And two is right about there. Now, how would you describe this data? It's kind of the same on both sides and really high in the middle. So I would consider this to be symmetric. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be close. So if I drew a, if I touch the tops of this, it would really kind of be symmetrical from one side to the other. Your homework assignment is a worksheet. Again, if you have any questions, please make sure you talk to your teacher. Some of your teachers may consider to do this video again because, again, I do my histogram slightly different, I think, than some of the other teachers. So good luck and be safe.